Cavia is a low perennial herbaceous plant that is assigned to the daisy family. Cavia tangensis is currently the only species assigned to this genus. It has a basal rosette of entire, slightly leathery leaves, and stems of 5 to 25 centimeters high, topped by bowl-shaped flower heads with many slender florets with long pappus and purplish corollas. The vernacular name in Chinese is Tingjun. It grows high in the mountains of China, Sichuan, Tibet, India, Sikkim, and Bhutan, and flowers in July and August. Kavya is a perennial herb with stout, woody, and mostly branched rootstocks of 10 to 30 centimeters long, which carry a basal leaf rosette and unbranching stems that carry some smaller leaves, bracts, and flower heads. The erect unbranching stems are stout and 5 to 25 centimeters high. The leaves in the basal rosette are somewhat leathery or even fleshy, the underside with many or few brownish glandular hairs, elongated spoon-shaped, 1126 or exceptionally 12 cm long and frac 121 cm wide, at the base gradually narrowing to the main vein, the edge with some teeth far apart, and a blunt tip or almost pointy. The leaves on the stem have brownish glandular hairs, with some saw-like teeth and a blunt tip. The lower leaves on the stem are 3 to 6 cm long and 12114 cm wide. Leaves become smaller and less leathery or fleshy further up, with the highest bract like, up to frac 1 cm, almost vertically oriented and enveloping the base of the flower heads. Flower heads mostly contain relatively few male florets at the center, encircled by many more female florets. However, solely female flower heads also occur, and individual plants may even produce only female flower heads. The flower heads are individually set at the end of the branches, bowl shaped, and mostly 3312 cm across. The involucre is 1122 cm high, nearly reaching the mouth of the florets, with 4 to 5 whorls of leaf like bracts, the outermost bracts largest, which are long to very long ovate in shape linear oblong or obovate lanceolate, their margin with some glandular hairs, and a stunt to pointy tip. The common base of the floret is flat or somewhat convex, and is without bracts subtending individual florets. Each flower head contains 100 to 200 very slender disc florets. There are usually 20 to 30 male florets at the center of a flower head, which are tube to bell shaped, with five lobes, the tube being about 412 mm long, and the freak part of the lobes about 4 mm long. In the male florets, the stigma does not split into lobes. The sterile sicilas are about 11 mm long, hairless except for one whorl of pappus hairs of about 5 mm at the tip. The female florets are purplish in color, tube shaped, densely covered in hard white hairs, with a tube of about 7 mm long and lobes of less than 1 fourth mm. In the female florets, the stigmas have two lobes, the lobes being exerted inside the corolla tube. The sicilas in the female florets are slender, angular cylindrical, 5 to 6 mm, set with dense bristles and two whorls of about 50 rough, purple pappus hairs of about 7 1 2 mm flowers are present in July and August while ripe fruits can be found in September and October. The pollen grains are about 35 mu in diameter, slightly flattened at the poles, with three longitudinal slits that suddenly stop near the poles. The surface is densely covered in conical spines of 2412 mu in high and 134212 mu in wide at the base, slightly perforated at base, and with pointy tips. The species was initially described in 1910 as Sashuria tangensis by James Ramsey Drummond a British civil servant and amateur botanist living in India. However, William Wright Smith and John Kunkel Small in 1917 considered it too different from other Sashuria species and erected the new genus Cavia for it. The placement of Cavia within the daisy family has been difficult. In older literature it was placed with the Anulii, however in 1977 it was removed from the tribe because the morphology of the pollen was too different. Arnanderberg considered the species might be a relative of Sashuria which he placed in the car to eat. See Jeffrey in 2007 had reservations, but preliminary placed it in the car to eat. Recent genetic analysis suggests it could be best assigned to the gymnarinoidae. Few morphological features would support this assignment, other than both having two types of flower heads and sharing a tendency towards dioecism. Both also have basal leaf rosettes, stretched leaves, with few spaced teeth on the margin, and both lack spines and latex. Gymnarina micrantha is now considered the sister taxon of Cavia tangensis, who together constitute the tribe Gymnarinae and the subfamily Gymnarinoideae. Based on recent genetic analysis, 
It is now generally accepted that the Proteoidae subfamily is sister to a clade that has as its basal member the Gymnaranoidae, and further consists of the Asteroidae, Corymbioidae, and Sicorioidae. These three subfamilies share a deletion of nine base pairs in the NDHF gene which is not present in Gymnarina microntha. Current insights in the relationships of Cavia and Gymnarina to the closest asteroid subfamilies is represented by the following tree. Cavia is named after George Cave, who was the curator of the Lloyd's Botanical Garden in Darjeeling, and who collected many new plants from all over Sikkim. This plant can be found in southwestern Sichuan, Tibet, Bhutan, and Sikkim. Kavya grows on gravelly substrate near glaciers and streams at altitudes between 4,000 and 5,100 m. Leaves are used on wounds and to suppress fever. In traditional Tibetan medicine, the species is known as Mingchen Magpa 